All right, it's another uh, MGTOW video, as I'm calling it. I haven't done a video in a while. I've been busy training for a marathon, doing a lot of running, doing a lot of meetup groups, running pub run groups. So I'm definitely staying busy after work. Um, coming into mid-April here. Been back in Denver almost three months. Been dating quite a bit. Um, really evaluating the women for what they are, a lot of, a lot of sluts out there, um, and learning more. And it's almost a game. I want to treat it as it is a game. You know, I meet you, I'll spark your interest a bit. I'll get your number. We should go on like one date and then get down to business. No screwing around. Um, cause that's all they are. You got to treat them like sluts. Honestly, all they're looking for is sex, screwing around with other people you're just another person on their list so there's no reason to get emotionally attached there's always another woman out there i think i'm running a red light right now so yeah i think i'm moving more towards that philosophy with women they're kind of entertainment um shouldn't be worth <laughs> settling um not at this point so some of my recent thoughts I'm kind of becoming obsessed with staying busy which is good it's non-stop um, I can't believe the amount of people I've met and um, numbers I've gotten and it's just a whole different side of the world looking at it through this perspective also getting um, going, sent out the check for my attorney today Filing for divorce from my end. Hopefully we'll get this wrapped up soon. I want the house title off my hands. I want her to buy it or get the fuck out. I'll sell it. I don't know. I'm um, just going to move on at that point. So yeah, three months. And then it's going to be two months after it's petitioned in the state of Michigan for it to even go forward. So it's going to be a while. And I'm fucking sick of making payments on a house where she's fucking some other guy. And like, why is that my responsibility still? on paper, I guess, is um, legally it is. So yeah, that's kind of stressful, realizing the financial side of it. That's the real reason I hired an attorney is to have legal support to get all the stuff straightened out and get the case submit, the complaint submitted to the court, or I can get out of this situation financially. That's all I want. I don't, I don't really care anything after that. Um, Stop saying, um, yeah, just moving on with life, staying busy, trying to get healthier, but I do drink a lot of beer. I bought some edibles last night and, um, the CBD heavy ones, not the THC laden ones, just to relax. And that seemed to calm me down for like an hour and then it wore off, but yeah, trying to stay healthy through all this. I need to get back to the gym. So yeah, more thoughts um, to come. I need to... Getting into creating more writing pieces, writing about this idea I've had. I'm calling it the soul virus. And it's going to be a story about a character that's along the lines of um, Louis Tully from Ghostbusters. It's, this clueless guy who, first half of the story, you see him go through his desperate failures with friendships, women, career, and how it, going through that process turns him around and he realizes he's part of this big story and there's some evil force out there coming after him. He learns to defeat it. But uh, yeah, I want to tell it from the perspective, the first person pers perspective of Louis Tully, Vince Glortho, the gatekeeper from Ghostbusters but his personal tale through the situation but it's going to deal more with a lot of dreams I've had like the idea of conception I think is a soul transfer process and I think there's evil forces manipulating the cell at the point of conception and cell separation um, it's going to be about how some satanic technology has been able to hack that process and steal the soul at the point of conception um but yeah it's kind of trying to work with that idea more using 
psychic abilities and crystals to manipulate the human consciousness and will to alter willpower into reality trying to manifestate manifestations of thoughts and um, requirements because basically this is a video game we're living in and those are the hacks to it so basically uh, yeah it's a lot of crazy ideas a lot of a lot of writing ideas I've been doing but uh, right now, going for a run, hopefully get another chick's number, get her to hang out at my place or vice versa, and uh, yeah, have some fun. Okay. I think this is enough ranting. Eh, I can keep ranting. So this is Broadway in Denver. I've been spending a lot of time driving on it, um, hanging out over here, hooked up with somebody from that brewery. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, a lot of stuff to do. It's always keeping me busy. So I'll grab a beer here or there, go to dinner, live right down the street. So. Yeah, a different side of me for sure. I didn't expect life to be like this, but it is simpler and less stressful. So other than that, just staying focused and um, trying to get ahead financially now. All right. Thank you. Should that be a good closer or? All right, you're welcome. You're welcome.